please go subscribe to the Rumble channel for Franchise Sports TV under the name FSTV22. Now, I'm using that Rumble channel for any purposes of me getting kicked off YouTube and also for more of my spicier joints. It's free as well. I have the freedom to say whatever I want to say as well. So go subscribe to FSTV22. That is Franchise Sports TV 22 on Rumble. All right. Let's gather around. Let's gather around now because I have not even spoke about this yet. There's reasons why I haven't spoken about because I haven't had a chance to get to it. But also, there's a new, eh, minor chapter in this new story. So uh, some of you might have heard it already. I don't know. Maybe you have. Maybe you haven't. That Giannis says if they don't get it done this year, Milwaukee Bucks star, superstar for Giannis and Tandy Cooper said, if they don't get it done this year, he possibly may be traded. And for the last, ever since he ascended into his superstardom, he's always been linked to these stupid-ass trades that don't make any sense. The latest now, ever since he said what he said, uh, he's been linked to the Indiana Pacers. Now, I wonder if these people who ever make up these trade rumors realize that uh, in order for you guys to get Giannis, you guys, the other team has to give up a lot because you're not going to just give up Giannis for a bucket of biscuits and a, and a, a, a washed out stripper. That's not going to happen. I don't know why people who make these trades up or propose these trades, they don't think about the other side because I'm sure the Bucks going to want a lot in return. But anyways, regardless, Brandon Jennings has something very interesting to say. Here's what he has to say. Everybody remember Brandon Jennings. He used to play on the Milwaukee Bucks. He was drafted back in, was it 08? 08 or not? I think it might have been 08. I know he was drafted. I think he was drafted the same year Stephen Curry was drafted. I don't know. But Brandon Jennings, for the time he was on the Milwaukee Bucks, he was somewhat of a star. Uh, he did his tenure there from the time he was drafted either 08 or 09. I don't remember what year he was drafted. Up until, I want to say it was 2013, because they traded him to Detroit. And we was gifted, in hindsight, Chris Milliton. Uh, I think he went on to play in Detroit, New York, before coming back to Milwaukee in their ascension and before he called it quits. And I think he may have got an honorary ring. I don't know for sure, but he's also quoted saying Bucks and Six as well. A quote or a saying that was said a lot during the Bucks championship season. But anyways... Enough introduction about Brandon Jennings. So, I'm reading this article at the Basketball Network. Former Milwaukee Bucks guard Brandon Jennings is a diehard fan of his former team. It's true because he was on. <laughs> he was in the locker room during the championship celebration and in the parade. It's crazy. However, Jennings didn't seem too happy with Bucks superstar. Giannis attended the Kupo, recent comments that he might be traded they don't win another championship, which he said earlier last week. It's so weird how Brandon Jennings is so attached to his team. It's actually funny, before he was drafted, I think he was linked to this team. Before he was drafted, he wanted to play Milwaukee. Anyways, according to Jennings, he would love to know how the Milwaukee locker room feels these days. While the Greek feet seen half-hearted when he said his words to Sam Emig of the Athletic, the nine-year-old, nine-year-old, ah, the nine-year NBA vet wonders why that kind of thing crossed his, even his mind. And this is what Brandon Jennings had to say. I'm just curious to see what the energy is around there, Jennings said. Even if you're joking, I want to know why you would say that. Just because you like, this is what they wanted. Like, you... Like, you wanted a Dame. This is our second year. To Jenna's point, the Bucks aggressively pursued Damian Lillard when he asked to be traded from the Portland Trailblazers. Milwaukee was so high on pairing Dame lame time with Giannis, they gave up on all-star guard Drew Hardy. Worst mistake ever. Grayson Allen. Eh. And a 2029 first-round pick and two picks wants to acquire. But Lillard's first year in Milwaukee was a disaster. Your fire head coach Adrian Griffin had a 30 and 13 start. Doc Rivers took over, and the Bucks struggled to finish with a 49 and 32 record, third in the East, and they got upside by the Indiana Pacers 
fortune over and around. Let's not forget there was no Giannis too, and barely Dame. So let's not forget about that. Meanwhile, not only did the Bucks lose Holiday, he went to the Eastern Conference rival, the Boston Celtics, and won the NBA championship there. And if the Bucks are going to win again, they have to go through the Celtics in the East. Um, Brandon Jones also says this. I don't know if it's, I just want to know what's the energy around there. He all, he always says something like, I'm leaving all the time. I just want to know what the real energy is around there. And they feel like a championship contender team, they can get it done. But remember, this is what they wanted. You, you guys wanted Dame over Drew Holiday and things like that. So you got to figure it out. And he says something about it. that silly gilly, but I ain't gonna mention silly gilly. So that's pretty much the end of the article what Brandon Jennings has to say. And here's what I have to say. Being a Bucks fan, a true Bucks fan, not a Giannis fan, but a true Bucks fan who was raised and born in the city in the early middle, mid, yeah, 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 yeah. Early nineties up to two thousand before I moved to California. Here's what I had to say about it. Just for any, any of these people who continue to get on my channel and get mad whenever I go at Dame or Giannis, uh, Brandon Jennings is right. Why would you say that? Now Giannis has said some goofy stuff like this before. He has said, uh, "I don't know if I can. I don't know if he can beat the Miami Heat this time around." What? What do you mean you don't think he can beat the Miami Heat? What do you mean by that, Giannis? I was gonna say in his accent, but I ain't gonna do it. What do you mean that you can't you don't think you can beat the Miami Heat? What does that mean, Giannis? And keep in mind, context means everything. He says this right before game one at the Eastern Conference first round. 2021. And if you remember from three years ago that they bullied and swept the Miami Heat. Beat the Nets in seven, beat the Hawks in six before beating the Suns in six in the NBA Finals. So I don't know if this is some weird reverse psychology he has and the teammates, people in the locker room hear that and they get focused. Maybe this could be it, Brandon Jennings. Maybe this could be some reverse psychology going on. I'm thinking, I'm just guessing. But to say, oh, man, I'll be traded. It's like, come on, dude. Stop saying stuff like this, man. Stop saying stuff like this. Stop it. You sound like the rest of these idiot NBA players out here when they can't get it done. You can't get it done. It's time to jump ship and go somewhere else to play. Paul George, James Harden, Kevin Durant, the apocalypse. The list goes on. And yes, I stand on business when I say this. After sight, I'd rather have Drew Holiday than Dame Lillard. Everybody gets so caught up in the scoring. He didn't score. He didn't score. He didn't Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday wanted them to help them win him a ring in 2021. People forget about that. And it was because of his defense. Now, the other part of this also, we also seem to forget, is Chris Middleton has to get healthy too. And Chris Middleton gets healthy. They should be able to do something because uh, I would say defensively, they got a tiny bit better in the backcourt. Now that they got Gary Neal Jr. And um, that's old boy from Miami. They got from Miami last year. I think he played in Miami. He even played in Miami or Washington that last year. His brother played in Miami too. He won a ring with Miami in 06, but I can't think of his name right now. His older brother did. But they got him. He's supposed to be a, a great defensive player. And Gary Neal uh, can score on his own as well. So uh, they ought to put something together. This league today, I, I'm careful how I say this. I'm saying this, no one's a juggernaut in the East. Yeah, I said it. No juggernauts are in the East. Boston there was a beneficiary of everybody dropping out like flies because of injuries. Let's see if they can do it again where everybody healthy. Hopefully everybody's healthy. I don't know about Philadelphia, 
Oh, I got to be careful not to offend the 76ers fans. But anyways, I ain't going to be careful. Let's see if Philadelphia stays healthy with the freaking hospital ward where they got Paul George and Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid won't play back-to-back, so I don't know how that's supposed to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. <laughs> it's going to work. Shut your asses up. That's why y'all don't know basketball. But anyways, uh, Giannis, please stop saying stuff like this. Stop it. You don't get to fail and then jump ship. This is what Victor Wamayama is actually t- talking about, too. These dudes are not impressive. I miss the days of the NBA, man. I'm sure we had players back then in Jordan's day, Kobe's day, Kareem's day, whoever, were not happy with their team. But they didn't say stupid stuff like this all the time. They didn't say stupid stuff like that. They kept it professional. There was no social media. They played. And if they wanted to sign a free agent at the end of the year, they did. It's just too much complaining. Too much not enough getting no job done. That's the problem with these dudes. They don't get the job done. They didn't want to complain. It's on you guys sometimes. And Giannis, sadly, the reason why you guys been failing is because it's on you too. You got to be there and step up and say that some of these failures in the past two years have been me. First round exits. I'm not counting the second round exit against the Boston the year after they won. They even that. You still got to put some of the blame on you. You got to suck it up and put the blame on you. Get Dame's head into the game. Tell him he don't get it together. He got to get it together. Lord, have mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. There has to be some. I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyways. This NBA is weak as hell.